Okay, this is video number two of my second rocket stove. The one on the left is the newer version. The one on the right is the original version. Uh, some of the changes that I made for the second prototype of rocket stove is that I made the combustion chamber smaller. Here you can see that in the one on the right, the combustion chamber is uh, much bigger. Here on the left, the combustion chamber is smaller. The can that I used for the wood loading and for the combustion chamber are the same in this one. Here you can see that I turned the can square. The wood actually loads in easier that way. And uh, here you can see the can. Now, one of the differences you can see is that here the combustion chamber is much bigger and it wasn't burning quite as well. And here the pot support on the old one is three screws that I had screwed into the top. Whereas on my second version, I bent down some tabs from the other can over top of uh, the lid that's got the hole cut in it. And what that does is actually makes a great effect where when I put a pot on the top of it, it uh, almost creates an area for second combustion to take place underneath the pot. So air comes in through these holes as well as coming out through these holes. And if there's a wind blowing, fresh air will blow in through the, the windy side and then the smoke and everything else will blow out through the other side. I'm going to try and get uh, the second one fired up here so you can see how it works and uh, then I'll shoot some more. Literally just lit the fire and um, it's so easy to get going. All I did was crumple up a piece of newspaper, stick it in the hole, uh, light it on fire, and then put some twigs right on top of that newspaper. I blew in it a little bit and off it goes. Once the fire gets going a little bit more and once the combustion chamber gets warmer, I'm gonna throw a pot on there, boil some water, and uh, see what happens. Fire's burning nicely, it's very hot, and uh, I'm gonna put a pot on, and pour some water in there, and boil it. Maybe a liter, I don't know. Try and get that to a boil. Also, I try to turn the pot towards the prevailing wind to try and use that to my advantage. We basically brought our liter of water to a boil. I kind of timed it so that I'm out of wood. Oh, not quite a boil. But um, basically, I've used up all the wood that I plan to use and um, stove doesn't produce quite as much heat as I might have liked. You do actually need to keep smaller sticks going and feed them in quite steadily to get good flames coming up and actually hitting the pot. My next design, I'm hoping to use a five gallon metal pail that I've got and try to construct some fire brick out of uh, clay and vermiculite. Um, and see how that works. Should be quite a bit of work to do that, but um, that's it.